Hi, welcome to my latest video. Uh, this game is Clony Bird. Um, obviously, there's been this huge Flappy Bird craze lately on Android and our iOS devices. Um, a lot of the comments coming from people have been saying, "Oh, oh, this game is so easy to make. Anyone can make this. I could have made this game." Um, the fact is, they didn't. Um, someone else did, and he got up to making 50 grand a day on advertising. And then, for personal reasons, according to him, he took the game down. Uh, there's also rumour it was Nintendo threatening to sue him because the graphics look a little bit Super Mario Worldish, um, which is very true. They do. Um, but looking at that, I thought, well, there's a lot of clones, and it's a good exercise for game making. And also, I thought it'd be a good exercise for me to just write a clone of it and then put the code out there for everyone to have a look at and play around with and make your own version if you want. So uh, I commute into London every day for work so I've got about an hour and a half on the train each day. So over the last couple of days I've put together this code so maybe I don't know two and a half hours, three hours including drawing the graphics uh, to do this. So I'll just show you the game first of all. So you can see it's the same as Flappy Bird um, few bits of animation missing so the bird doesn't change angle but you know the wings flap uh, the pipes are all there the, the scores going up the ground scrolling there's a background if I die it dies in the same way it does on flappy bird I've got my score I've got my high score I can restart the game background changes color of the bird changes so there's in my game there's four colors for the bird and there's two backgrounds the day and night they're randomly selected every time you die which I think is how it works on the uh, mobile version of Flappy Bird as well. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any pattern to how it does things, it's just random. Um, and I've tried to put the pipes about the same distance apart as they are on the mobile version, so there's up to three pipes on the screen at once. Um, maybe my screen here is a little bit wider and the pipes might be a bit further apart, but it feels pretty much the same playing it here as it does on playing it on my phone. Um, and I'm dying quite as often, pretty much the same as well. So if I quit out the game quickly, I'll just show you how it works. And again, this this code can work work in either Blitz Plus or Blitz 3D. I'm running it in Blitz 3D, but you can run it in Blitz Plus, no problem. Um, Blitz Plus is still available for free. Uh, I will just quickly check that, but I believe it's still available for free on BlitzBasic.com. So if you go to BlitzBasic.com, go to Products and if I just scroll down, go to Blitz Plus at the top uh, back up sorry, scroll down the page to Blitz Plus you'll see it's a free download after creating an account on BlitzBasic.com so you create your account download the, uh, you'll, get a, you'll get a download for the product and then you can use this key that they give you on this page here to register the product um, and download it and that's it and then you can then open the open up load this code into it and run the Flappy Bird game that I've written so I'll quickly go through the code just to explain how it works um, if you're not familiar with Blitz Basic I do have a 10 part series for writing Space Invaders which uses a lot of the uh, pretty much everything that I do in this code is covered in that so I've got a pipe type here which is just literally the X coordinate of the pipe the Y coordinate of the pipe and whether that pipe has been scored I set up a graphics window here, 400 by 600 in a window uh, with 32 bit color. That's just to emulate a, a basic phone cell, phone type window. I set my high score. I load the high score in from a file, which is just using readint from a score file. Uh, obviously, you just write a small program to just write the number zero to that file, um, to the same file in the same folder to set up your file. Otherwise, that will fail, obviously, the first time you run the game because it won't be a file. Um, later in the code obviously it saves this high score when you die. I seed the random number generator using the current millisecond um, value which I believe is the number of milliseconds since you boot your system up but for the gamer it gives them a very, very random number uh, every time they start the game which will randomize the bird color and the backgrounds. I'm going to set all my images to handle from the middle of the image because it just makes it easier to know what you're doing on the screen uh, rather than handling from the top left all the time. So I'm going to load my pipe image, my bird image, as an anim image, that one. So it's got several frames, I'll show you that in a second. The ground and the backgrounds. And again, the background is an anim image because there's two backgrounds, a day and a night. Set up a game timer of 60, so it's going to run 60 frames per second. 
and it should pretty much run that on everything because it's not the most complicated game so if you're not handling 60 frames a second you probably should upgrade your PC if this game doesn't run at 60. I'm going to set a font um, just basic aerial font which every computer's got size 24 that's just for doing the instructions and the score uh, the game on the mobile uses a bitmap font uh, which would have meant drawing out all the numbers and text and I couldn't be bothered to do that so I'm just going to use aerial that's fine I'll probably do it on the Android version of the game when I do that one. Um, set the speed of the game, which is just how fast it scrolls. Set all the other um, variables you're going to use, like countdown timers and things for when the next pipe appears and when you die and all that sort of stuff. Set up the start screen, and then you have the main game loop, which just goes through, scroll, you know, work through each pipe, see if you hit it, um, kill the bird if you do. I've commented it all so it's very easy. There's some gravity in there for the bird MY, which is the amount the bird moves per frame in the Y coordinate. And obviously that one wants to be increased by a constant amount to simulate gravity. So I'm using 0.3 for my gravity constant, uh, which gives you pretty realistic looking uh, movement. And I also wanted to copy how it looked in, on the mobile game. Uh, the bird hits the ground, kill it, that's fine. Uh, flap wings, if you click the mouse or press the space bar and then end of the game so how to restart the game how to delete all the pipes tell them what the high score is oh it writes the high score there to the file and then i've got a small function there called shadow text which just literally takes the text function and then just writes text on the screen twice once in black and then again in white on top of it to simulate a drop shadow uh two pixels up and two pixels across to the left uh that's just dr basic drop shadow text that's all um very simple I've got my to-do list at the bottom, so there's some bits I've not added, so the additional angle frames for the bird animation, uh, medals that you get, sharing to Facebook, I'm not sure how, how I'm going to do that from Blitz Basic, so I'll probably just do that on Android. Music, sound effects, uh, improve the different screens there are, and then everything I've done uh, previously. I just like to keep a to-do list. So I'll show you the graphics. I uh, open the graphics folder for this, images. So you can see if I just zoom in, I've got the bird graphic, if I just preview that, you can see it's just literally four colours of bird with three frames per bird. And then going on the other graphics, I've got my day and night backgrounds, I've got my ground which is just one tile which I just have a little for loop and it draws it ten times next to each other and moves it on a little bit. I did start to do the numbers uh, for the bitmap but decided I couldn't be bothered. Uh, partly because I was on a train and it's not that easy to draw graphics on a train. The pipe, which is just literally a long sprite with a gap in the middle. Uh, Blitz doesn't draw the black when it loads it, so you can go through that bit. And then this gets drawn at different heights on the screen to simulate the pipe being different heights. And that's it for the graphics and that's it for the code. So I'll put this on, I'll put a link to this on the video. It'll be a Dropbox link so you can just download it from my public area on my Dropbox and leave me any comments and also maybe show me any videos you do um, of any clones you make of Flappy Bird using this code. Uh, I always love to see them, I liked seeing people Space Invaders clones years ago when I did that, that was great and uh, yeah keep in touch and let me know what you think.